Hey, it's Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel all about hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. It is that blessed time of year again when we scramble around looking for gifts to buy people for Christmas. And if you've got a hiker, backpacker, or camper in your life, I'm here to help. Picking out gear for outdoors people can be very difficult because not only is it sometimes fairly expensive, but it also has very particular uses and people are very particular about what they use. So what I've done for you in this video is I have picked out 15 pieces of gear from $5 to $50 all across the range of prices and all of it fairly universally desirable for people that are into hiking, camping, or backpacking. After telling you about these items, I'm going to discuss a bonus piece of gear that is very special, and I might even be able to help you push the price down a little bit. All right, let's start in the $5 to $20 range. Some of my favorite pieces of gear from 2022 have been from a new startup company called Apex Giant. And if you've got a backpacker that has to hang their food in trees to keep it away from bears, then they might enjoy the Apex Giant bear bag toggles. Although they look simple and are basically just replacing sticks, these are really handy, ultra-lightweight titanium pieces of gear that make a PCT-style bear bag hang much easier. I don't have to worry about looking for sticks or tying special knots. It just makes the whole process much easier. They're only five bucks, and it's actually one of the best ways to hang a bear bag if that is what you do when you're backpacking. I did a whole video on this and much of the other gear that I'm talking about today, which I will link to in the video's description below. All right, next up, we have some blister protection from Wooroo Wool. Try saying that. Basically, it just goes between your skin and your sock, and it helps prevent blisters once hot spots start. This is a premium blister prevention packet of wool. This is gonna run you about 11 bucks. It's the kind of thing that needs to be renewed occasionally, so it makes a good gift, even if somebody already uses it. Next up in the $13 range is one of my favorite new products called Element. This is a drink supplement powder that you just basically add to your water to make a little tastier drink, but it's got no sugar, it's got extra salt, which is very good for when you're hiking and it's hot and you're sweating. Replacing electrolytes through salts is very important, and this is a very good balanced drink mix, and it's pretty tasty without being so sugary that you just gulp it all down and waste it. Uh, this has been one of my favorites. They come in these little tiny tubes. You just dump one in your one liter smart water bottle and you're good to go. A starter pack like this with multiple flavors runs about $13. All right, next up is one of my favorite gadgets. I picked one of these up when I was getting ready for my Camino and this is the Hero Clip carabiner. This is a strong lightweight carabiner that has a swivel hook on it that allows you to turn this into a hanging device. And what I do with this is I throw this over a branch of a tree, clip my backpack's carry handle into it, and then I can just hang it up when I'm stopping for a break instead of having to sit it down in the dirt or the mud. Now, this is the large. It will carry about 60 pounds, which hopefully is a lot more than anyone would need in a backpacking trip. But even the smallest Hero Clip carabiner should be enough to carry up to about 40 pounds, even though it weighs less than an ounce. Now, these can run up to about $30, but the small, which I would recommend, starts at about $15. All right, let's move into the $20 to $30 category. Heading up this list is another item from Apex Giant, and that is the Dirt Diggler. This is an ultralight aluminum trowel for digging cat holes. Don't worry if you don't know what that is, your backpacker will. This thing is fantastic. It weighs barely over a half ounce, and yet it is super strong. No problem digging through roots, tough ground. I've even used it up in the Sierra digging through granite. Um, this has a nice tip on it that is not sharp. So if, wherever you keep this, you're not gonna have to worry about this tearing through a ditty bag or a poop kit or even your backpack. You grab the whole thing like this, which allows you to get a good strong grip. It doesn't hurt your hands. You can even get them personalized with your logo on them. But the starting price on these is 22 bucks. Okay, speaking of going to the bathroom outdoors, this next one is for the ladies. This is called a Kula cloth, and it is basically something to replace the little bits of TP that you ladies use when you're done, and it keeps you from having to pack them out or try to bury them. Clips to the back of the pack. It dries out by itself. 
Now, I don't use one of these myself, obviously, but I know that these are wildly popular with the backpacking ladies out there. So, if the backpacker in your life is of the female persuasion, you might want to check out a Kula cloth. They come in a variety of different colors and designs, starting at about 23 bucks. All right, next I've got something that's a little outside the normal backpacking gear range, but it might be something to think about for someone that could use it but hasn't really liked the idea before because of the form factor that they usually come in. What the heck am I talking about? I'm talking about a walkie-talkie. Now, normally, walkie-talkies are not really worth their weight and their bulk uh, to be useful in the backcountry, but if you're hiking with somebody else and maybe someone that you don't necessarily keep up with, having a walkie-talkie is really nice. It keeps you in contact even if you're not walking right next to each other on the trail. What's different about this one is how small it is. Look at that. This is the Redivus 22P. It's brand new for 2022. This is a 15 millimeter ultralight walkie-talkie. It's got a rechargeable battery in it that is big enough to run these things for 15 hours, and yet this whole thing weighs only 3.6 ounces. It's a 16 channel FRS radio. It works right out of the box. It's only got a couple buttons on it. This thing is super easy to use. It includes the Vox function, which allows you to just clip it onto your sternum strap or something and talk. It'll automatically trigger when it hears your voice and turn back off when you are not using it, so you don't have to keep reaching up and pushing the button. It's got an emergency signal, and it's not terribly expensive. A pair of these with all the chargers and everything you need to run them, only 25 bucks. Moving into the $30 range, one of my favorite pieces of gear this year is the One Bottle Hydration System. What One Bottle has done is taken the kinds of things that you usually get with a water bladder system and adapted it for use with a smart water bottle or a Nalgene or virtually any other kind of popular hydration carry that backpackers use. It essentially converts an Algene bottle or a smart water bottle type bottle into a hydration reservoir pack. So if you like the convenience of the hydration reservoir system, but you don't like actually having to carry that bladder in your pack for the numerous reasons that people don't, one bottle makes this adapter system that will allow you to take what you typically use and just convert it over to a hydration tube system. And speaking of hydration, we not only want to carry water, but we want to make sure it's clean. And one of the best products that is out there right now for doing that in the backcountry is the Platypus Quick Draw. This is an inline filter that works through either a gravity feed or a pressure feed. It is extremely lightweight, extremely tough, and one of the things I love about this is that the cap comes off is actually attached up here, and there are caps at both ends so that you can seal this thing up as a system and keep it with you in your sleeping bag at night if you're worried about it freezing, which breaks these kinds of filters. It has an extremely fast flow rate. It is very lightweight. It feels great in the hand. This thing is fantastic. Fantastic. Runs about 30 bucks, and honestly, even if I already had one of these and someone gave me one, I wouldn't complain. I would love to have a backup. All right, the next piece of gear that I have in the $30 range is the G-Works Fuel Canister Refill Adapter. Basically, what this does is it allows someone to take a larger fuel canister that they may not want to take with them backpacking and refill the smaller ones that are easier to carry. This one has an air vent function so that Freezing one of the canisters is not as big of an issue. So this is going to be a space saver. It's going to be a weight saver. It's going to be a time saver because you don't have to go out and buy fuel cans all the time. Uh, Amazon doesn't ship fuel containers to many places, so you're pretty much looking at a trip to the store anytime you want one. This adapter allows you to buy one small fuel canister and one big one, and then use the big one to refill the small one over and over and over again. Pretty cool. All right, now we're going to move into the $40 to $50 range. This is going to be at the top of the expenditures for this particular video, but there's some pretty cool gear in it. Once again, we're going to start off with Apex Giant. I am not getting paid for this video, by the way. Um, I love Ben and Hilltop Packs and Apex Giant as companies, um, but it really was just an accident that they showed up at the beginning of each list. But here it is. This is the Apex Giant Ultralight Wallet. You've basically got three different things going on here. Here. You've got two Kydex sheets that hold all of your cards. You just push up on the bottom here, fan the cards out, select the one you want, and you've got it. When you're done, you just kind of hold it like a deck of cards and put it back together again. But in the meantime, they won't come out because they're being held by this very strong 
<laughs> very strong, elastic band, and this little piece of titanium here, which serves as a money clip. These wallets come in a variety of colors and patterns. They can hold up to about 15 cards or so, no problem. It comes with an RFID blocker card if you think one of those things is necessary, but the best thing for the hiking community is that this thing only weighs 1.1 ounces. It is practically nothing, and yet it is super strong. You've got a lifetime warranty, even on the elastic band. These rock, they're American made, they go to a great company, starting at about 40 bucks. All right, bumping up to the $45 range, I have the membrane six liter gravity feed bag for water. What you do is you just scoop up water from a river or a lake in here, you fold this up like a dry bag, and then you just hang it on a tree or whatever you've got to hang it from, and this six liters worth of water drains through this hose. You've got a little cutoff valve here. You attach your water filter to the end, and then you just let it hang and drip and fill up whatever you're keeping your drink water in. What I love about this bag is that it is collapsible. It can come down very, very small and it's big enough to keep you from having to go back and forth to a water source all night at your campground, or if you're camping with other people, six liters is quite a bit. You can use this to wash your hands, wash out your cook sets if you need to, and it's just great having kind of a portable sink at the campsite and not having to constantly go back and forth and hand squeeze water through a little tiny filter. You can let the membrane six liter bag do the work for you. The next idea I have in the $45 range is a little unusual. It involves a company called Right on Trek, and what they do is they make a custom food menu for as many days as you like. You can check off what kinds of foods you like, even down to flavors. You can tell them if you're gluten-free, vegan, whatever. And they put together a package that they can send you all at once. You get one ultralight little net bag full of food, and it's going to take care of you for several days. What I would recommend, because this is so highly personalized, is just giving like a gift certificate or money for it, but letting the hiker or backpacker in your life know that this company exists in case they don't, and then just kind of let them know, hey, get yourself X number of days worth of food, and I'll cover the price. The packages that I've seen usually start at about $45, which probably sounds pretty steep, but if you consider that that is three full meals, including a full day's worth of snacks, you're looking at about $15 per meal, which is pretty close to what just one dehydrated bag of food costs in the first place, and the Right on Trek food is quite a bit better. Their packaging is eco-friendly. They're a very different kind of rehydrated hydrated meal company. You should definitely check them out. All right, I seem to be talking a lot about pooping and peeing on the trail here with the uh, Apex Giant Dirt Diggler and the uh, Kula Cloth, but I've got one more for you, and that is from a company called Pact, P-A-C-T. They have come up with an ingenious little package that basically helps people get comfortable going in the woods. Inside the full package, you've got a nice ultralight shovel, you've got reusable bags to carry out some of the nastiness that you're not supposed to bury, and you've also got some dehydrated wet wipes that are eco-friendly, along with a very special pellet that you drop inside the cat hole when you're done that helps the environment. So this would make a really great gift for a beginner, someone that's just getting into going out into the backcountry and they're not really too sure about going in the woods yet. However, even if you have a seasoned backpacker that has no trouble whatsoever and they've already got their poop kit figured out, you can also order the dehydrated wet wipes and the little eco pellets separately and then that can just be added to their kit and it's something that needs to be refilled anyway, so even if someone is completely dialed in, they should still appreciate getting more of those products. Okay, last thing in the $50 range is the Hyperlight Mountain Gear Repack. For those of you that don't know, most backcountry meals work by having a big envelope that you tear open, you pour boiling water inside, mix it up, roll the bag up, and then it has to sit for 15, 20, sometimes 30 minutes in order to rehydrate the food. There's a couple problems with that. Number one, the bags don't tend to hold the heat all that well, and so by the time the food has finally rehydrated, it's no longer as warm as it could be. The other problem is that the bags that they come in are kind of heavy and unwieldy. They take up a lot of volume and you end up having to pack them out because they're not something you want to leave in the outdoors. 
The third problem is that a lot of these meals are quite robust. They're made for two people, and if you don't necessarily feel like eating two meals in a row worth of food, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that food if you haven't finished it in the first eating. So what a lot of people do is they actually open up those backcountry containers and they just fill up Ziploc bags or something with their food, and they try to do their rehydration there so that they're not carrying as much out, they're not taking up as much volume, and they're saving weight. What the repack does is it gives you somewhere to put that bag while you are waiting for the food to rehydrate. It is insulated, so the food is going to stay warm. It actually feels pretty nice to hang on to it. And that way you're not wasting food, increasing weight, increasing volume, and increasing the trash you have to take out. And the food is actually going to taste better. This thing only weighs 1.4 ounces, so there is not much of a weight penalty associated with it. Runs about 50 bucks. Okay, now for the bonus. If you want to go a little bit over the $50 range and get something really special, the absolute, without question, top piece of gear that I would recommend is the Hilltop Packs Custom Print Bear Bag. Hilltop Packs is an excellent U.S. company that really blew up the scene when they started making custom Dyneema products. Most companies' bear bags pretty much looked the same. They were all kind of the same color and the same material, and so what Hilltop Packs did was they started custom printing these things. You can send them pictures, drawings, anything you want, and you will get a custom bear bag that looks like no other in the world. They're super high quality. I actually made something of a joke video trying to destroy mine. Uh, couldn't do it until I shot at it or cut it up with a knife. Pairs very well with the first thing on the list, the little bear bag toggle. And if you order the custom version of these packs with your personal picture or drawings on it, it's gonna run you about $60. So I reached out to Ben at Hilltop Packs and I said, hey, would you mind helping us out a little bit here? Love to get the custom bear bags down closer to the $50 range. And, oh, I've got a message from him right here. Let's... Hey, buddy, how's it going? So I'm actually driving right now. Um, yeah, I'm game for anything. So if you want to figure out what you want to do, just send it to me. And later on tonight, I will put it on the website, whether it's a discount, whether it's a percentage or a dollar amount, whatever you want. Uh, just tell me what special you want to do, and I will run with it, buddy. Later. That's how cool Hilltop Packs is. So... I am just going to say free backpack with every order. Just kidding. Uh, check the video description below for the deal that Ben and I worked out for you. I think you're going to like it. All right, I hope that this video has helped make your Christmas a bit merrier, helped you pick out some good stuff for the hiker, camper, or backpacker in your life. If it did, why don't you give the video a like, subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim if you're into hiking, camping, backpacking, or the gear that goes with it, or know somebody who is. Until next time, I'm Doug. Thanks for watching.